Howdy folks, Matter with Gulf Coast Fit. Joining me, the lovely Andrea, Rachel, and Chrissy. We are here at the beautiful Hunter Springs Park in Crystal River. And as you can see, we've got quite the uh, band situation going on here. What we are doing is a three person, you could also add more bands and more people in, but we're doing a three person band rotational workout. So we're focusing on the transverse plane and the rotational aspect of, of movements, movements. And what we're gonna do is run through three different exercises uh, together. And what's fun about this, when you're all connected, you really have to work in sync, in unison with each other. And regulating the tension together is what makes or break this workout. So it's a fun team building exercise. It's a fun way to uh, really reel things back in and focus on finessing the movement patterns, not just going all out because remember your partner's workouts are gonna be dependent on how well you're blending with each other. So the first thing we're gonna do is a single arm rotation row. And so in order to do that, we're gonna hold, let's all hold the band with our right hand and then we're gonna scoop back and Andrea might be out of the screen, so let's all scoot this way. All right, so we've got our right arm straight. We're gonna take a squat stance. We're gonna squat down into like a quarter squat. We're gonna make sure we've already got tension in the band. So Chris, you might scoot back a little bit more, protract the shoulder blade and really reach for it. And that way you have an opportunity to retract your shoulder blade as you go into your rotation row. So let's keep trying it all together now. And then we'll work at the same time. There we go. And you see it, we've got three different individuals who are completely different physical specimens and we've got three different band tensions here. It doesn't matter who has which one. It matters that they're focusing and feeling what each other is doing. So we're going to get about 15 reps per side. Let's focus a little bit more on swiveling the hips. Allow your knees to shift back and forth. Protract and retract the shoulder blades. Really try to drive your elbow behind you. Let's get five more. Squeeze your lats, allow your shoulders to twist, allow the hips to swivel. Think about your external oblique right here, twisting and pulling. All right, let's switch to the left arm. Again, make sure you start with band tension, shoulder blade protracted, really twisting and reaching to start. And hit it together. Yeah. And you'll see in something like this that it's easy to start playing tug of war with each other. And when you feel things shifting and getting a little off kilter, just reel it back in, pay attention to each other, feel the resistance in the band, and you'll feel when the balance is there. Okay. Protract and stretch, retract and squeeze. Protract and stretch, retract and squeeze. Allow the hips to shift and the knees to shift. Get three more. All right, great. So we're going to go right into the opposite movement pattern, which is a rotation punch. Now this uh, I enjoy, and I enjoy to watch people doing it because they have to spin around, face away from each other, so now you're really focusing on feeling what your teammates are doing, so that aspect of this challenge is heightened a little bit. So we'll start with the, uh, what arm do we start with, right? So we'll start with the right arm, you're going to face away from each other, you're going to stagger your stance so your left foot is forward opposite foot forward. We're gonna make sure that your fist is right here packed in tight, elbow up high, and you see how Chrissy's already got that right shoulder back because we want to twist the shoulders. All right, so look forward and feel each other push together. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. And keep going, push and breathe. Push and breathe, yeah, different bands, different resistance, that's part of the song. There we go, keep your eyes forward, don't look back now. Again, allow the hips to swivel. Push off your back foot, just like you're throwing a punch, just like you're swinging a racket. Just like you're throwing a ball. There we go, think about the belly button twisting with your punch. Hip swivel, belly button follows your fist. Let's get three more. All right, now let's go ahead and switch. So you're gonna spin around, left arm, make sure your left shoulder is back, your left elbow is high. Your fist is packed in tight, close to your shoulder. Your right foot is forward, and your, front, your right toes are facing the direction you're punching. All right, now feel it. Hit it. Back a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes there needs to be some adjusting. That is, uh, that's to be expected. If you need to scoot forward or back, that's fine. 
No peeking now, Rachel. Let's see you lock that arm out, Rachel. Reach for it, lock it out. Your left one. Push and lock it, there we go. Think left shoulder back, left shoulder forward. Left shoulder goes back, left shoulder goes forward. Notice how the shoulders are rotating. The hips are swiveling. You're pushing off the back foot. Let's get three more reps. Think of this as an oblique exercise. Remember, it's a transverse movement, twist. All right, awesome. Okay, so the third and final exercise in this particular team workout is a good old fashioned torso rotation. And so this is a little less complex than uh, a push or a pull because we're gonna keep our hands locked in front of our sterns, right in front of us. So the key here is the starting position. You wanna make sure that you are positioned perpendicular to the band. So if we are all going to rotate to the left simultaneously, Andrea, you want the band to be coming out of your right side. So we all wanna make sure that we're rotating the same direction. You can see everyone is perpendicular to their band. Let's push the fist away from your sternum just a little bit. And we want to start so that your fists, although in front of your sternum, are facing the center, not here a little bit more. So there we go. That way you have the opportunity to twist away from it. There we go. Good. All right. Now at the same time, let's all twist and wrap that band around your right tricep. Use your body for a little extra resistance by wrapping the band around your tricep. You push off the back foot. Your foot can pivot. Allow that back foot to pivot a little bit. Check out your fists. Make sure they're right in front of your sternum. Now try to exhale as you twist and pull. Three more reps. And you'll notice different bands might mean different ranges of motion. Christy's got a heavier band. She's not rotating as much. That's perfectly fine. She's still working just as hard. Let's face the other way. Good. Perpendicular to your band to start. Chest facing the middle a little bit more. And hit it. Now let's also move your head with your entire upper body. The entire upper body is moving as one component. There you go. Which, which direction you're going. You'll feel the band now. Try not to look at each other so much. Try to feel the tension and your nodes and your eyes. Follow your fists. Push off the back foot a little more. Think about the obliques a little more. Let's get three more. All right. I like to hit about 15 reps. So you could do anywhere between 10 and 20 reps for all of those. And based on your performance and how much fun you're having, do two, three, four, up to five rounds of that. Uh, again, it's a good team building exercise. Plus you're getting a, a challenging physical and mental workout in, a great workout for mind-muscle connection. And to really figure out or learn how to reel things back in and to feel what you're doing, not just going through the motions. So thank you to the crew. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Have a great day. Stay strong.